in the last nine months we've been stuck in a studio together i couldn't have done it with anyone else like the fact that we're not tearing our hair out or filing for divorce i think is like huge wow i love how it's just Big filing. <laughs> <laughs> like divorce i was like whoa that was on the table From there, yeah, you know, holy shit high. what are we not doing well, we're not having a baby. Oh, that... Is that... Ugh. Can we talk about that? I mean, it, that's not what I would... Oh, uh, would... Well, no, I mean, it's fine. It's just, I think you and I both... It hit us this year that, like, if we could manifest a child like that, which what? also sounds horrifying the way I just put it, like it's... manifest a child, like we, we took a child out of the thin air, which is not what I mean. Yeah, no, there's there's like crime documentary series about that. You I know. You don't do that, Keisha. Well, I won't. <laughs> but I, I think that's the one thing I feel like so many things in our life are like amazing. I'm grateful. It's the one thing I feel like we haven't done yet that I feel like we've been able to do all of the other things we've wanted to do, but we just haven't gotten to that yet. And I'm eager is not even the right word. I'm just ready. Like we thought we'd have a baby by now. That's how we kicked off the quarantine too. And so we've just kind of been sitting with that for nine months. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should be we should be having a baby like right now. Yeah. If every conversation we've ever shared was recorded, which one would you listen to again at this point in our lives and why? What conversation have we had oh, that you want to re-listen no. to? No, it's not appropriate, but I'm gonna say it. The one where we just took pictures of our buttholes. <laughs> What a thing to say. <laughs> we were just like, I've never thought about it. And we just were like, you are just like, and we just did that. People are going to judge, but everyone's done something weird, weird like that with their partner. it was such a, like, because it was so it was weird. so funny. Because you That was a crying, laughing kind of night. Well, because you explained what my butthole looks like. And I had never seen it. And you were like, same. And then we did it. And I was like, I don't know if this is good or bad. But I'm happy we did. And it was like both weird because we started analyzing. And then I was like, what are we doing? We're adults. <laughs> But to this day, it was like one of those moments where I was like, this is both, it feels normal, but it also feels like not normal, but I guarantee you so many people have done that. Yeah, I bet you most people have done something on, on that level. Oh, uh, it was like... But you made me delete them. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I'm happy we... Well, no, I have one picture. You have one, and it's... You can, you can show it at my funeral. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Every time I have a bad day, I'll like scroll past the picture. <laughs> and I don't know why you did it. You need to like I don't, protect that photo. So I just don't I don't I don't, I don't know why you did it. Because it was funny and it was. It was a hilarious. Was. It still brings me so much joy. <laughs> and if you die before me, that is the picture that I will look at and be like, what a good man. <laughs> What a good, kind, <laughs> weird man. Ugh. What's your favorite ritual of ours? Oh, there's nothing nicer than just hanging out on the couch with the dogs, eating a bowl of popcorn, and watching anything. Like, we're hanging out and just enjoying each other's company, which is great, but we're also, like, living in the thing we love to do. Um, and so it just, it's just a beautiful merge of everything, and I could do that forever. Oh, no, we have to work, but yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, what a way to wind down the day. Because we're all, it, we're in our jammies. It's cozy. It's, co it's very cozy. It's very cozy. And with COVID going on, it's like, there's no point to worry about leaving. <laughs> we <laughs> we just, can't. We can't. <laughs> You just hang out. <laughs> what a year of being trapped inside. Mm -hmm. Thank 
goodness, we like each other and love each other. We, it, we don't have kids yet. This is, this is probably our last sprint before we're parents. Um, and we get to spend the last, you know, the year leading up to hopefully having kids where we get to just spend our time alone together. And that's, it's really nice. It's, it's the thing I remember when we were getting married, like people would tell us like, enjoy the time you have alone before you have kids. Cause it's, it's so sacred and it's so short. You know, my parents waited five years to have kids and they said it was the best decision they ever made because they got to know each other before they got to know each other as parents. I know. I you. feel like we got to do that. I know you. Anyway, all that to say, I think I think getting to have um, this year alone with you, even though it's in a cramped studio, is is you know it it's challenging at times, but it it's really nice to get to spend this time with you. We're not going to have this again. How have the events of 2020 affected our relationship in ways that we didn't expect? I mean, the most obvious is uh, a house. Moving to a house is pretty I big. never wanted to live in a house. You were I've very never... anti-house our entire relationship. Oh my goodness. The idea of a house has always stressed me out. You, like, I've always been like, an apartment or a townhome, I do not want responsibility like for things. And then like... I said to lock you in a studio apartment for nine months. <laughs> I've never craved a door or a wall, a wall. Be between you and me. And mainly because of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the and thing. You're obsessed with the house. I'm obsessed with the yard. Like, just outdoor space. We I haven't had outdoor space in 20 years. Well, and it's so funny because everything we wanted, we got. You're like, I want a fruit tree. We have two fruit trees. You're like, I want a garage. We have a garage. Such, Fireplace. Such small things. Such small things. I'm so, yeah. Yeah. Comfort. I want comfort. St I still one day want a pool. I know we won't have a pool in this house, but I want a pool. One day we'll get a pool. I want a <laughs> pool. <laughs> we'll get a pool one day. Oh. What do I do that turns you on that I am not aware of? touch like just being holding your hand or or cuddling up with you i i'm big on touch i like i like feeling you against I me i know and that's that's probably the biggest thing also when you do sex stuff it really turns me on <laughs> when i show you my butthole yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that sex stuff for yes for some people for some people but is it for us If this was our last conversation, what is something you would want me, you'd never want me to forget? That I love you. <gasps> that I love you more. And that. <sighs> God, that one. Yeah. yeah. that I can't imagine life at this point without you. And I love you more than I can ever. <laughs> I just don't know. And I think you know that it's so simple, but I just need you to know how much I love you. I know. Sorry for digging my nails into you. It's okay. Love uh. hurts. <laughs> it's so hard for me to not make jokes because I just want to make jokes. I know. But. just that simple. 
Hey everybody, thank you so much for being here. Uh, it's Nick from The Skin Deep, and I just wanted to let you know that you know these conversations are all facilitated by our questions, and we've taken those questions and put them into the end card game. So if you wanna have more meaningful conversations, if you wanna start deepening the connections in your life, go to shop.theskindeep.com to check out our card game and all the other stuff that we're doing. So thanks so much.